Every day, thousands upon thousands of pounds of grain roll into distilleries all across Kentucky. This is Brian, and he inspects every load of grain that comes into the Four Roses distillery by hand. Or more accurately, by nose. Every load that comes in here is smelt of before it's ever unloaded, always. That's the very first thing. If it doesn't pass that, then there's no sense in running any of the rest of it. So here's the question. After Brian ensures that the grains are free of mold and moisture, how do they become bourbon? These are the three grains that we use to produce four roses. Of course, we have the corn, rye, and the malted barley. And this is what it looks like when it's milled down. We use the corn for the sweetness, the rye for the nice spicy structured flavors, the malted barley imparts maybe a little bit of flavor, but we use this primarily for the enzymes that are inside the malted barley. From here, they go into the masher and the mash begins. A mash bill is simply your recipe. What are the ingredients you're gonna use and at what percentage are you gonna use those in order to make your whiskey? This is our cooker, and this is where the mashing process takes place. We're taking all the grains that are in the process, we're adding the heat and the water to gelatinize all the starches within the grains so that the yeast can come in and ferment the sugars that are inside the grains. This is the fermenter room. The fermenters, that's where the magic kind of happens. After the mashing, we send that to a drop tub. It gets cooled, sent to the fermenters, and then we inoculate it with the yeast. The role of yeast in the bourbon making process is pretty simple. We've converted starch to sugar during the mashing process, and then the yeast eats the sugar and produces alcohol. We've hand-selected five different strains of yeast that each creates its own different flavors. Some create spicy flavors, some create fruity, some create floral, some herbal. So each one of these yeasts creates different flavors through fermentation based on its strain. This is our column still. It's made of pure copper, four feet in diameter, 45 feet tall. This is where all the distillation happens. We do a double distillation, which is pretty common for most people. And at the first distillation, is it's solid separation. So you want to separate out all the grain from that alcohol water mix. As you may or may not know, alcohol comes to a boil at a much lower temperature than water. So to separate the alcohol from the mash, distillers heat the mash in the still, and the alcohol is volatilized, AKA turned to steam. As the alcoholic vapor rises, it's captured. And when it cools, it condenses back into a liquid. It's then distilled a second time, purifying it even further. And this is this lit or white dog. This is the final product. This is about 140 proof. What we'll do now is we'll ship this off to our warehousing facility. It'll be cut to 120 proof and put in a barrel. In five years, this will be bourbon. <laughs>